NAWA Championship Wrestling, where we have a brand new heavyweight champion at an untelevised event in Wilkes County, North Carolina. Golden Gladiator number two defeated Wildman James Brody to become the new NAWA heavyweight champion. And now here he is, standing by with C.J. Bentley. Wrestling fans, this is C.J. Bentley with the North American Wrestling Alliance. My guest this time is the new NAWA heavyweight champion, the Golden Gladiator, number two. Congratulations on your win. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I went down there to Wilkes County, and I got uh, old James Brody, that Betty Ford dropout. I beat him. I hurt him. He ain't coming back. Got the belt. <laughs> I told you I'd get it again. I told you. There you have it yeah. from the new champion. Wow, I cannot believe this. Golden Gladiator number two defeated James Brody. There's a lot of rumors going on around what, as to what really happened to James Brody at Wilkes County. We're going to get to the bottom of that. But right as of now, Golden Gladiator number two still the NAWA Heavyweight Champion. Wrestling fans, this is CJ Bentley here with the North American Wrestling Alliance. My guest this time is the tie-dye sunrise, James Johnson. James, welcome back to the NAWA. Thanks, man. It's a pleasure to be back. Or at least that's what I wish I could say. Because the last time I was here, I didn't fail not once. I failed twice. <laughs> but the good news is, I get another crack at Lucky tonight. And Lucky, your name, your name, man, that rings so true. <laughs> See, Lucky, you got Lucky. And after seven minutes, that bell rang and we had a draw. It's not gonna be that way tonight, man. Usually I just let things roll off of my back. I just go with the flow, right? Not tonight, Lucky. You're gonna find out who the better man is. That's the tie-dye sunrise, James Johnson. Wrestling fans, here you have footage of that matchup that James Johnson was talking about just now where Lucky Ali had him tied up there and he thought he had won the match to Lucky Ali, but in actuality, time had expired. These two did go to a time limit draw. And there you see Lucky Ali showing his frustration. Well, that's going to be your main event here this week with C.J. Bentley standing by right now with Adam James and the returning Leo Pride. Wrestling fans, this is C.J. Bentley here with the North American Wrestling Alliance. I'm joined today by Adam James and Leo Pride. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's nice to be here. And I want to start off by saying it's nice to have Leo back. We still don't know who took you out, but we're going to find out. And on that note, I'd like to bring somebody in here that stepped up to the plate when we needed them, and that's big time y'all. You know, I always got your back, Adam. I always got your back. The gifted one is all about friendship and being for the ones that had your back a long time ago. And Adam James always had my back. So I thought I'd repay an old debt to Adam James. And we won. We did win. Let's not forget that. We won. Soul Patrol, we're coming for those tag titles. But see, here's the thing about Soul Patrol. They want to jump us and start this whole new faction and think they're going to run rough shot over NAWA. Uh -uh. You see, the gifted one is back. And I wish they would try again. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Our first matchup of the evening here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. We've got tag team action as the combination of the unbookables there to the left-hand side of your screen. Boomer Payne and Adam Jackson will be taking on Tony Binge and the gift of God, Jovanisi Cruz. What is wrong with you, Redbeard? You didn't even acknowledge the fact that we just heard from the winners of the Buddy Shane Memorial Tag Team Tournament. Big time y'all, the returning big time y'all, and Adam Jackson, and with them was Leo Pride, and yes, they are looking 
to get revenge on the Soul Patrol after attacking them after their big moment winning the Buddy Shane Memorial Tag Team Tournament. What is wrong with you? You want to talk about the man you're jealous of, Tony Benz, instead of what's important here at NAWA Championship Wrestling? Hey, we're living in the moment, and we do definitely appreciate all that those two men have done there in the form of Adam James and Lucky Ali. In the form of Adam James and Leo Pride and also Big Time Yaw. Right now, we're in the middle of this tag team match. We're going to find out who is going to be standing victorious here, maybe making progress in this tag team division. We're talking about tag teams almost exclusively here so far in this uh, show. Well, now we, we know you're jealous of Tony Benz. You're getting tongue-tied and twisted and forgetting things. You're jealous of man. Just admit it as he gets his butt handed to him by the debuting unbookables here. As you can see, Adam Jackson headbutting him right down into the corner, Redbeard. Just admit the fact that you're jealous of Tony Benz. Terrific. Tony, by the way. Terrific. Tony needs to get himself out of the corner there if he's going to have any kind of success in this matchup. And there you see him tagging in the gift of God, Giovanni Cruz. Now, there's a man I'm jealous of. Look at that hairline. The gift of God. I don't think Aunt Don Dominic gifted us this guy. You know Aunt Dominic's a god, right? Well, Aunt Dominic is many things. Aunt Dominic, I think you've had a number of names for him, as a matter of fact, on the show. He can be a you-know-what. For sure here, we've got a combination of talent that is unmistakable in this matchup here as we look at tag team wrestling in NAWA. Of course, at this point in time, we're coming off the Buddy Shane Memorial Tournament, and now we're in hot action as everyone is trying to gun for those NAWA Tag Team Championship belts. And those belts are owned by the Soul Patrol who viciously turned on the fans of NAWA, and they're tired of dancing with the rednecks and kissing babies. They're doing their own thing, just like Giovanni is and Tony Benj is doing right here in this ma match here against the Unbookables. Adam Jackson is not faring very well here in their debut match here on NAWA Championship Wrestling just yet. Well, you have the tag team combination there of a veteran in the form of Tony Benj and a newcomer in Giovanni. Got that good combination of wherewithal with the ring presence here. Tony Benz, look at that there. Reaching back, his tag team partners giving him leverage there. Nice. Michael is on all kind of a cheating format here. Zach Galifianakis, referee Galifianakis is this trying is to get in Zach there. This is not Zach Galifianakis, people. This is Mac. This is his brother, his long-lost brother. He is a senior official here in the NAW Championship Wrestling. He is not doing a very good job of paying attention to Joe Venisi uh, in the totally corner. out of position there. Adam Jackson able to get out of that abdominal stretch, but still having no luck making it to the other side of the ring to tag his partner, Boomer Payne, and just yet. You got Cruz back in there now. He's the legal man at this point in time. Boomer Payne antsy to get in this action. And if you're not familiar with the Unbookables, they are a, a group, a faction. You know, they run roughshod over other, other promotions here in the Carolinas, but this is their debut here. Not looking too good so far, but it's very, very early on in the match. Giovanni with the textbook suplex there, the gift of God as he likes to call himself. Working very well with his veteran partner, Tony Benj. You know, we've seen them in action several times here on this program. Not successful yet getting a victory, but working together as a team, they've been very successful so far. That's what we were talking about a moment ago. Tony Benj undoubtedly teaching his young squire Giovanni, all the ins and outs of what it means. Oh, wow. Big heel there. Life still left in the body of Adam Jackson with a big boot to the chin of Tony Benz, and he is crawling on, literally on his stomach, trying to make the tag to Boomer Payne. Great camera angle there by our crew at ringside. You know, speaking with Giovanni, he wants more. I don't know how much he really likes tagging with Tony Benz, but I know he's learned a lot so far. And in comes Boomer Payne like a house of fire delivering those big right hand haymakers and another one right to the chin of Tony Benz. Boomer Payne has got a right hand, folks, that will be rivaled only by someone that likes a Ronnie Garvin, folks. Trust me when I say he has broken many a jaw with that right hand. And the unbuckles now with a double atomic drop. And a meeting of the minds there between Tony Benz and Joe Venisi as the unbookables now are in command of this matchup. And they're starting to get the momentum and feel it. Big body slam delivered from Boomer Payne. Off the top rope comes Adam Jackson. Flying elbow drop. He goes for the cover. Three count. There are your winners, folks. The unbookables, uh, Adam Jackson and Boomer Payne, really showing off here in their debut in NAWA Tag Team making a, Making a huge impression here in their debut victory. Wonderful to see more of them down the road. They could be gunning for the Soul Patrol next. 
Let's take it to the back. Devin Cruz, the returning Devin Cruz is standing by with C.J. Bentley. Wrestling fans, this is C.J. Bentley with the North American Wrestling Alliance. My guest at this time is a returning Devin Cruz. Devin, you made a big impact when you were here before. What can the fans expect from you now? Oh, man, it's been a while since I've been here, but, I, I mean, it feels great to be back. Uh, they can expect a lot more than they did last time. Last time was just a small piece of what I can do. This time they're going to see what I can really do, what I've learned in the past. In the past few months since I haven't been here, it's time to make a name for myself. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here. This is your main event this week on NAWA Championship Wrestling. It is the rematch between that man right there, Tie-Dye Sunrise, James Johnson, who does not look very happy or pleased to be here in Lenore, North Carolina, here at the American Legion Hall. He's going to be taking on another young up-and-comer, Lucky Ali, in a rematch, just like I said, Last time these two were going at Red Beard, it was a time limit draw. And uh, Lucky Ali feels like he was on the cusp of winning that match. James Johnson feels opposite of that. Felt like he was going to win that match. But we're going to hopefully get a clear cut winner here tonight. We've had a very hot feud between these two men erupt. As in that last matchup, as Michael was saying there, with that time limit draw, just a very frustrating end to a matchup. Always want to have a good conclusion to these matches, but sometimes, folks, when you have an even contest between two men who are very well put together and whatnot, that does happen. But now, tonight, we will see who can get the best of each other. And on his way to the ring is Lucky Ali. You can hear the fans roar for the appearance of Lucky Ali, young man who is definitely on the rise here in NAWA. Started off a little rough. A little shaky, not getting many victories, but now he looks like he's on his way. He's found his path to the top here, and uh, it's going to really be tested again here tonight against James Johnson as Lucky Ali. You see somewhat disrespectfully James Johnson just draping himself across that lower rope there. Not really showing all that much of an intent in this matchup. That might be a mistake here as Lucky Ali definitely is looking to make a name for himself here in the Carolinas. Well, the pressure is on Lucky Ali here in this match. As you saw the two ladies in the front row that he gave up to, that is his mother and his grandmother. They drove all the way down here to Lenore, North Carolina. Why would you come here to this town? All the way from Washington, D.C. to see their grandson and son perform here tonight against James Johnson. I'd love to see that kind of support there. And definitely uh, also has the support of the fans here as well, Mike. Yeah, I was just going to say, this, the fans are really, really getting behind this young man. He is definitely making a name for himself here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not yet, and you want to keep up with everything going on in the world of NAWA, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We drop a new episode every Saturday at noon, as well as classic content as well. What should they do, Redbeard? Subscribe to the NAWA Championship YouTube channel, folks. That way you'll be the first to know whenever we've uploaded something new. And not only are you going to get awesome episodes of NAWA Championship Wrestling, but you're going to get a lot of wrestling, historical wrestling from the Carolinas that you're not going to get anywhere else. It's a great combination of content there, folks. All for free right there on the NAWA YouTube channel. And we are underway here, folks. James Johnson jawed with the crowd here. You can see a change in attitude. I mean, this is not the typical tie-dye sunrise that you or I are both used to seeing. This is someone kind of going back to his days before he became a hippie. Very true. And he is the unhappy hippie, I guess you could say, at this point in time, as Lucky Ali shoves him into the corner there. Would you not be happy if you were getting choked out and they said the match was over, the time limit draw, when you knew you were going to come back and win? I'd be totally pissed if I was James Johnson. I definitely have a point there. You'd hate to see a contest end early at any point in time when you think you've got a shot there as a competitor. But there are rules in wrestling, and we do follow the rules as much as we can here on NAWA Championship Wrestling, except when the Soul Patrol has a bat and they are reinstated by TC3. We've got to figure out what is going on with that relationship between those two. Not only that, but we've got things going on. They have Dominic, our uh, title picture here, is just a mess in a lot of ways, different folks. But right now, we're focusing on this matchup as James Johnson cowers in the corner looking to really try and find a way to get any kind of an offense started against Lucky Ali. If you look at the two men here, definitely look at the physique of someone like Lucky Ali and can see how much he's been involved in competitive sports in his lifetime. James Johnson, not one to uh, 
clown around with, though. He's definitely known for being able to get in there and wrestle in a lot of different technical aspects as well. When you talk about Lucky Ali's athletic background, he is currently, at this time, a amateur wrestler at Queens University in Charlotte, North Carolina, and he puts those skills on display every time we see him in the ring here. As you can see, he's really taken it to uh, James Johnson here so far early on in this matchup, getting the best of him so far. Just kind of feeling each other out here, still trying to see just what's going to be in store for this contest as James Johnson goes to a side headlock. The last time these two met, there was a lot of pleasantries early on in the match, and then they finally got that out of the way. Definitely none here tonight as both of these men want that victory. Both of them felt cheated the last time they were in the ring together with that time limit draw occurring. And I think the change of attitude here for James Johnson might pay off for him. Maybe sometimes he is too nice in the ring. You cannot always be nice in wrestling. There you go, James. That shows exactly what your point was there. As Lucky Ali gave James Johnson just an inch. He's going to take every bit he can here. Now, the old James Johnson would have just taken the headlock. He wouldn't have thrown that stiff boot. Oh, oh trips wow. him up there as he goes over top. With the roll up, Lucky Ali. Oh, only gets a two count there. Very, very close to ending this matchup early was Lucky. Now Lucky back in charge here. James Johnson trying to figure out what's next for this combination of Lucky Ali's really just impressive offensive maneuvers. Lucky Lee, Ali goes up and over again. What in the world look is going on here? This is on display here, folks. Wow, look at that. And Lucky Ali now toying with James Johnson saying, is that all you got? Oh, Can man. you hang with me? What are you doing? What are they doing? With a drop toe hold is Lucky Ali coming off the ropes. Oh, kicks him right in the mush. Going for the cover now. Two count only. Thought he might surprise James Johnson there and get the three, but Lucky Ali unsuccessful. And again, right back to that side headlock. You'd think that maneuver doesn't put a lot of pressure and wear and tear on you, but over time, squeezing that noggin, it wears you out. Having a 200 pound weight pressed up against your neck and head. Oh, wow. James Johnson taking his bandana off and tripping Lucky Ali. That is just a straight villain there, folks. My goodness. Villain, that's genius. Well, you can call it whatever you want to, Michael. I'd say that's just about grounds for a foreign object there. It was a part of his wardrobe, a part of his ring gear. How can it be a foreign object? We can't pull hair. How could he use a bandana as some method for a tripping? A bandana somehow? is not hair, Redbeard. Get a grip on yourself. Oh, my goodness. Well, as we try and delve into the NAWA rule book here, folks, we're going to continue to watch this matchup with James Johnson. My gosh. And again, showing signs of aggression that we would not normally see. Normally, he's with the flow, going with the flow of things. But tonight, he's had enough. James Johnson is wanting this victory more than anything. Oh, oh my God. Just That's sending Lucky Ali head first into that steel ring post right what? in front of his family, no less. That could have busted him open. Now, hopefully, Lucky Ali is all right. James Johnson showing just how violent he can be. He is, this is no longer the hippie James Johnson. This is some other kind of format that he's transformed into here, Mike. And I like it. I like seeing this aggressive side from the tie-dye sunrise. He's definitely showing what he's willing to do here to get this victory. Now totally in command, just grading the side of Lucky Ali's head against the laces of his boot there. Attacking the head and neck area continuously is James Johnson. You know, they always say nice guys finish last. I think James Johnson has heard that saying enough, and he's tired of being the nice guy. He wants this victory. He wants to win. He said he's 0 for 2 here in NAWA Championship Wrestling, and he wants a victory now. Well, despite what some people would say, victories definitely matter in professional wrestling, and that is going to be a point. Oh, wow, swinging neck breaker there by James Johnson into a cover. Two, only a two count, though. Not enough to put this young man, Lucky Ali, away. You know, James Johnson says he's 0 for 2, but the match he had against Lucky Ali was a time limit draw. Technically, he didn't lose. The match he had when he accepted Thomas Extreme's open challenge ended in a disqualification because of Amp Dominic. So is he really 0 for 2? Or is he just mad he's not getting his hand raised? I, I, it's something we'll have to ask him. Well, that's definitely a couple of unfortunate circumstances, but what is going on here? Oh, wow, look at the show of strength from James Johnson. A wheelbarrow German suplex delivered nicely. That's it. 
Two oh. kill. Lucky Ali still got some power in the tank there. And James Johnson looks confused and does not know what he's going to have to do to get this victory here tonight. What a great show of strength there by James Johnson. My goodness. You've got to give it to Lucky Ali. This kid has got a lot of fight in his body after many people would give up and take the three count. Oh, wow. Right into the sternum. James Johnson just tosses it. Lucky Ali chest first into the turnbuckle. Get on him, James. Don't let him breathe. Lucky Ali definitely feeling the effects of this matchup. And we, as we have said here, James Johnson just showing how villainous and how angry he can be in terms of delivering this offense. Lucky Ali, though, able to block that shot in the corner. Red Beard, this match has been going on for a little while. Hopefully they gave this match more than a 10-minute time limit because I do not want to see another time limit draw here. We're definitely approaching that 10-minute mark here. Lucky Ali now building some momentum, looking to get back into this contest against James Johnson. Close line there. Wow, what a main event we've delivered here this week to you fans on NAW Championship Wrestling. You don't get this kind of action many other places. Up, up and down the elevator. Wow. Lucky Ali's one of his signature maneuvers there. Still not enough to put this man away. James Johnson still fighting through it there. Lucky Ali put all he's got out here for the fans in attendance. Folks, we definitely appreciate you being here. Look for us on social media. That way you'll know whenever our new events are coming up, you'll see action like this live and in person. You just don't know who's going to win this match. It very well could go to another time limit draw. These guys are so... Oh, throat chop. My gosh. Guys are both evenly matched in talent level. Big kick drops him right into the corner. Such a tremendous matchup here, as you were saying, Michael. A tremendous main event here as we are bringing it to you on NAWA Championship Wrestling TV. James Johnson diving shoulder first in the gut of Lucky Ali. James Johnson saying it's over. What's he got in store for him here now? In the high rip district, misses totally. And that's not something you normally see from James Johnson too often. Oh, look, wait a minute. He's going for that dreadlock maneuver. He caught, and oh. there you have it. We got a winner, and it's Lucky Ali. Wow, what a main event here on NAWA Championship Wrestling this week. And we've got the answer. Lucky Ali, the better of the two men this time around, Redbeard. What a contest. What a finish. How amazing is it to see that handheld down there and Lucky Ali getting the win. Wrestling fans, this is C.J. Bentley here with the North American Wrestling Alliance. My guest this time is half owner of the NAWA, Cool Breeze. Cool Breeze has been a traumatic little bit for you, hasn't it? It really has. Soul Patrol, what was on your mind, brothers? We have been up and down the road together, spent time together on the road. We, we shared time with our families with each other. And you guys decided that you want to do something different. You guys decided that you want to do things on your own. And you use me as your stepping stone. But brothers, let me tell you something. The plan that I had is going to change. Dion Johnson, if money is involved, I know, I know you're good for it. Sweet dreams. I know how you think. But brothers, you're going to see what I'm thinking. That's what you guys did to me. So be ready. Oh, be ready, my friends. Obviously, Cool Breeze is very upset with what happened last week. The Soul Patrol attacking him and turning their backs on him. Uh, we still don't know what happened with the Soul Patrol or why they turned, but uh, we're going to hopefully find out here soon.
Christ, the monster Montana Black is returning to NAWA, oh, Brett Beard. My God, Michael, Montana Black is going to be returning to NAWA. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just heard from Cool Breeze a few moments ago before that big, huge announcement about Montana Black. But this is what happened. The Soul Patrol attacking Cool Breeze and leaving him laying just like they left Adam James, Big Time Yah, the Burt County Boys. This is, we don't know what's going on with the Soul Patrol. All we know is they've had a change of attitude, and it's not pretty for everybody here on the roster of NAWA Championship Wrestling. But the Soul Patrol is standing by right now with C.J. Bentley. Let's hear what they have to say. Wrestling fans, this is C.J. Bentley here with the NAWA North American Wrestling Alliance. My guests this time are the current tag team champions, the Soul Patrol. C.J. Bentley, whoa, whoa, North whoa. American Wrestling Alliance, I told you. You see, Dion Johnson and Sweet Dreams, we've been your goody two shoes for far too long. No now more. the turbos no have no been more. turned, CJ. You see, no more kissing babies and slapping hands. We're going to be slapping people and we're going to be knocking them out, you see. And we started with that no good, nothing happening Cool Breeze. You see what I'm saying? He was just a <laughs> throw on my side. You see, Cool Breeze, I used you, you see. I used you. And I've used you up and I've spit you out. Why, so Patrol? Why are y'all doing this? Shut up! We don't care what you think. We're here for the money and the belts. N-A-W-A, <laughs> get ready because Batman's coming to town. Folks, thank you for tuning in to this episode of NAWA Championship Wrestling. Next week, we will have big matches, including Adam James versus Sweet Dreams and Big Time Yah versus Devin Cruz.